Howdy folks, in this video we'll go ahead and do a review of the Intex Challenger one person kayak. It is an inflatable kayak here that you see uh, that we'll go ahead and take apart, assemble, and then we'll go ahead and test that out in the water in this video. The model of the kayak here is going to be the Challenger K1. It is 9 feet by 2 feet and 6 inches inflatable kayak. Out of the box, it comes in this carrying case and all of the items related for this kayak that are coming with uh, the box are all going to fit inside this case. Alright, so taking everything out of the carrying bag, here's what we have. Obviously we'll have the kayak itself, and the actual kayak has uh, two places where you inflate it, and they're two separate air chambers, so the idea behind that would be obviously is that in case there is a puncture on one of the chambers, the other chamber is uh, still going to have air in it. So this is going to be the first valve, it looks like it's going to be for the upper portion, and then there was another valve right here that looks like to be for the bottom portion uh, for uh, inflating it and obviously with the box we also have the actual pump here we'll test that out here in just a minute we'll have the paddle um, the carrying case as I mentioned uh, the kayak is obviously folded uh, into that uh, carrying case we'll have this um, skag and this is a stationary uh, item so it is going to be attached to the bottom of the kayak here and at the bottom of the back end so then it gives you a little bit more stabi stability in terms of tracking as you paddle throughout the water we're gonna have uh, what appears to be a footrest here um, it does not have a valve so it looks like it's a manual valve and then we'll have the seat cushion here as well and the valve on this one is also a regular valve um, the other valves are not going to let the air escape as you pump it obviously <laughs> due to the pressure necessary for it when the seat is going to be attached to the kayak it looks like it is attached by velcro strips here so therefore it looks like we do have actually i think this is the bat the so this is the actual seat yeah it is going to be attached with the velcro and then this is going to be the backrest as well all right, let's put it together, do a quick trial run, and then we can take it out. I'll disassemble it and then do the same thing here um, by the water. When inflating, it's a couple of things to keep in mind is that uh, the bottom section should be inflated first, indicated by the number one right here. And then the upper section, uh, again, this is the second independent chamber, uh, should be inflated second. Uh, in order to obtain the right inflation point, uh, they do provide a little kind of, it's a clear, clear overlapping ruler that you can apply as you're inflating to the marking right there that you can see. All right, now that the bottom part has been inflated and the top part has been inflated, uh, we'll re-verify again that using their ruler uh, that it does meet and match the 10 centimeter mark. And in our case it does. So this is the way the kayak looks fully inflated before I put in the footrest and the seat. Uh, the footrest I have right here so basically it's going to slide in to the front of the kayak and uh, on the top here we do have kind of the cargo holding area so for the things that you do need immediate access to you can put it here within under the net um, on top of the kayak and then you do have a little bit of storage space in the back uh, as well and because the seat is going to go here so for longer uh, trips if you will be taking those uh, you may want to put extra items that you do not need immediate access to uh, here in the back and then you can put the seat in because once the seat is in you do not have uh, full reach access to the back of course uh, so then for those immediate needed items on the trip that you may be taking that can be here within the cargo net uh, as I mentioned here's the footrest and that essentially just slides in to the front. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Like that. So that's going to be fully in the front. I think I can push it in a little bit more. And it also raises this area up a, a, a bit as well. And now we got the seat attached uh, to the kayak. Uh, the bottom part of the seat is attached via Velcro strips that are lined at the bottom uh, on the kayak. And the uh, backrest uh, has a black strap with a plastic clip at the end. I don't know if you can see it from here. On both sides.
So overall, this was a very nice kayak for sightseeing, adventures. Um, it's doing a very nice job and I don't have a comparison of it to anything else, to be honest with you. As I said, I'm a first time kayaker, but everything so far is very nice. <laughs>